Hey stylers, welcome back to another wig review with your girl MK. On today's video, we're doing a glueless wig install. This wig is from VIP Beauty. This is what the packaging looks like once you receive it. This wig, as you can see, has a beautiful curl pattern. It has a beautiful color and it's pre-cut, which means you don't have to cut off the lace if you're a beginner. And of course, it has a wig band in the back just to make sure that your wig is secure when you put it on and it doesn't have any combs in the back or on the sides. It does come with some pre-cut baby hairs or edges in the front, so you can go ahead and do whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and comb those back because I prefer a more natural look. This is what the wig looks like on my head and this is the length. I did go ahead and just wash this wig in some water and some conditioner. You just want to do this just to check like how thin the hair is, how much the hair sheds, how much it tangles, like you just wanna see everything. But with the wear and go wig, you can always just put it on, tint the lace and then make your middle part or side part and then go. That's the point of the wear and go. This is all the shedding I got from this wig so far. So I did go ahead and leave this wig alone for about two days because I didn't have the time to install it or to record a video, but this is after it dried. So now I'm just using some of my foundation, putting that at the back of my hand, as you can see, using a brush and just brushing that onto my lace. So this is just to help your lace look more natural and skin-like, so you just want something that matches your natural skin tone. So this is what the back of the hair looks like. I'm in love with the curls. So this is what the front looks like. And I did go ahead and plug this side a little bit as you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug this side now. So now I'm just coming out, combing out everything that I plugged out so this is not shedding so don't blame the wig for that. You don't even have to do this, I just like to comb it out just to see how thick the hair is and all of the shedding and all of that when I receive a new wig. You can always go ahead and keep the curls as is or just spray it with some water and just comb it through or you can use the styling foam, leave-in conditioner. This time I decided to go with the side part because I'm usually a middle part girly. So sometimes you need to step out of your comfort zone. I would usually choose a middle part, especially on a closure because with closures, you can see this black part that meets the weft. I mean, where the lace meets the weft. So I usually prefer a middle part when I do closures just to hide that part. Also, it's just easier to go with the middle part. Once I find my side part, I'm gonna go ahead and clip the rest of the hair back, as you can see, with my little hair clips. And then I'm gonna use my wax stick. So this wax stick is from Gold Pal. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's from Amazon. I will make sure to link it down below, and it's not an affiliate link, so I don't get anything from it. So if you'd like it, go ahead and get it. I love how that smells. And the hot comb is from Amazon as well. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure it's as flat as possible. I don't really like my curly wigs to be too flat. It just makes it a little more not natural in my opinion. I feel like curly hair usually is a little thicker and stuff so you don't really, I just don't like it flat. 
why is watching myself do an install like just using the hot comb with the wax stick so satisfying like let me know if you find this satisfying as well it's just so i don't know i just like it it's relaxing and just editing this video and watching myself like just um use the hot comb on this was so satisfying Since I didn't use any glue on the lace, I just tied down with a wig band, not even that tight, just to make sure that, you know, the front looks laid and that's it. Now I'm just gonna wet the hair with a little bit of water and conditioner. So the conditioner is a little concentrated, just make sure your conditioner is not as concentrated as mine and just ignore that. And then I'm just gonna wet the hair comb it out and I did make sure to wet the hair as much as possible you don't have to do this the conditioner I'm using here is a normal conditioner that you use to wash your hair it's not a leave-in conditioner so this is just conditioner and water so make sure to use a leave-in conditioner or foam on your hair I didn't have any of those available and hand at that moment so I wanted to put this wig on and go so that's what I did I wanted to see what this would give me and I actually love the outcome so yeah once I wet the hair enough I'm just gonna make sure to use my brush comb it through and then lift it to my ear just as I'm doing there and then I make sure not to touch it again just leave it alone until it dries and then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side now I'm gonna grab my red tail comb use the same foundation I used to tint my lace add some of it on the tail of the comb as you can see and then just go in like and just uh, make my part a little more visible since the wig is not really bleached it kind of shows that grid if you know what i mean so this kind of helps that cover up as well so if you want to go ahead and bleach your wig you can always do that like this is just something i'm showing you not everyone is at the luxury of like bleaching their wigs as soon as they receive it some of us just want to put it on and go because we don't know how to bleach like there could be so many reasons so yeah this foundation just helps it look um your part look a little, a little more natural hides the grids and yeah you can go ahead and pluck your wig a little more you can go ahead and bleach it that is all up to you so yeah there's always an option in my opinion So since I used the regular conditioner instead of leave-in conditioner, my hair is a little um, flat, if I could say it that way. So I'm just going to use a pig to just lift up the hair a little bit, give it a little more volume. I actually like this look because it looks a little more natural in my opinion. It's not like, like I'm not a fan of very, very big hair and this looks really natural. If you do want to see a video on how I bleach and pluck this wig a little more, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do that for you. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click on the video on your screen right now to watch another one and I'll see you there.